we're at Hamilton Health Sciences, Hamilton General Hospital, OR14, which is our hybrid suite, where we do some of our advanced endovascular interventions. So the procedures that are done here are aneurysm repairs. We do aortic work in patients that have a breakdown of the aorta where it gets large and there's high risk of rupture. We also do a lot of the angioplasties and stenting, anywhere from the upper extremity arms to the legs. Uh, and this also includes vessels, visceral vessels. So all the uh, endovascular complex cases are done here. We also do hybrid procedures, which are both open and endovascular. It's a mix. These are patients that one technique would not suffice. In an open surgery, there is a lot more morbidity and mortality than an endovascular technique. In an open surgery, the patient requires a general anesthetic, uh, they require a big cut, and we sew grafts into these patients for aneurysm repair. They require hospital stay anywhere from 7 to 14 days. Sometimes they require ICU afterwards intensive care, and you have to watch the patients closely. Versus endovascular, it can be done with a local anesthetic, a spinal, which is less invasive. You enter the vessel with needles, wires, catheters, and you repair the aorta, sometimes with the patient awake, and the patient can go home the next day, a much less invasive technique. With endovascular surgery, the risk of infection is close to zero. The pain is close to zero versus an open surgery that requires anesthesia to position catheters for pain relief. So that's the difference between open and endovascular aneurysm repair. Visualization is very important when it comes to endovascular work. In this room, we have phenomenal visualization of the blood vessels. We can see the blood vessels in detail. We can map the blood vessels. We can actually see in real time what we're doing with great precision. We feel extremely supported by our staff in the hybrid suite. There's multiple control boxes and control panels that can move the table and the II, the imaging uh, software and devices so that they can adjust things with us. There's an enormous amount of monitors that people can watch and there's uh, ongoing feedback and dialogue with the speaker system with our staff as well as nurses and medical radiation technologists about how to adjust things and provide the best care to the patient. These devices allow us to train our trainees in some of the most complex endovascular surgical intervention so that they're practice ready when they go out to their jobs versus requiring subsequent training in other institutions such as fellowships. We train some of the best doctors in southern Ontario that have been employed in all of the large academic institutions in Ontario. We're able to take our trainees through some of the most complex cases in the province in a state-of-the-art suite that allows us to be able to perform this in an efficient and rapid manner and, and have excellent outcomes with our patients, some of the best in the province. <music>